in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Los Angeles Rams and the Detroit Lions. Tee, we're set for football, and we are underway from Ford Field. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. But obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Romeo Aquara shooting in there and dropping it for the sack. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. A shotgun snap for Stafford. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. Not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school He's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. Here's Swift. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. Second and goal from the six this time. One more time with Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. Now Goff on third and goal. And yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. Badgley able to punch this one through. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. So golden field position there is squandered as they can muster only a field goal. Yeah, you were gifted a first-to-goal situation, but I have to give credit to the defense. They were brought out in a really tough situation, so give them credit for holding them to three. That's a pretty nice accomplishment. The 
kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. They'll try the jet sweep. Stafford pops it forward. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Now they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner and turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Fielded at about the 28. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Lions will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. There's Gaw. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Right back to Swift again on second down. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Nothing after one on EA Sports. So third down and defensively the Rams have added two extra DBs. Here's gone. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Back deep, Brandon Powell. And this will be covered up. Pretty good result. It'll be down at the 14-yard line. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. Oh, 
Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10. Just shy of the 30. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. DeAndre Swift, the intended receiver that time. That'll bring up second down. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Rams will take over here just shy of the 30. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? On Stafford for the third time is intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. Now, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. Throwing on second down. Goff, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Boy, the coverage there, airtight as he comes away with the interception. Love that observation there because they were taking a shot in the end zone, but you're right about the coverage. Absolutely tremendous. And this they could clip for a training tape. Staying with him down the field, locates the football in the air, and comes away with the interception. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. They find some open field here. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Got a man. It's Higby complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Akers 
is into the end zone. Touchdown, L.A. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. At one, tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. From the 36, Goff. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. On first down, Stafford here. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Amadi Oruorie. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. After the interception, here's Goff. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jason Cabinda taking it in from two yards out. And the Lions are able to move back in front. 
And they just powered it in right there, Charles. Three tight ends out on the field. The fullbacks for the defense, they knew what was coming. They knew, but they weren't able to stop them. They knew they had to meet them with a little bit of force. But on that play, the big guys up front won the day. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And now here is another interception. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone, and the Lions are gonna take possession of the football. Boy, they get him yet again, Charles. Five interceptions.